Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on simplifying ratios worksheets. So this video presents a few slides where we have some worksheets where we can practice simplifying some given ratios. So we'll be given uh, a number of ratios and we have to write them in simplest form. Now if you're not sure what to do the last slide on this video there is a link if you click on the link it will take you to the lesson there is a lesson which explains how to do these let's quickly have a look at the first one just this one only we have 12 is to 16 and we want to write that in simplest form the lesson will tell you that we look at the highest common factor we have to find that that is the highest number that divides evenly into both of those two numbers. So our knowledge of tables will tell us that the HCF of 12 and 16 is 4. So if you divide 4 into 12 and 4 into 16, that will give you the simplest form of that ratio. Now with respect to fractions, with fractions, we're going to look at something called the LCM, the lowest common multiple. And this is also explained in the lesson. We look at the denominators, so we look at the 5 and the 8, and we say, what is the smallest number that 5 and 8 will divide into evenly? I repeat. What is the smallest number or the lowest number that 5 and 8 will divide into evenly? And I think you can see that that's 40. So we multiply each of those fractions there by 40 and that will give us the simplest form of that ratio. And we do the same down here. With respect to the mixed fractions, you just look at the denominators. You do the same thing as we did here. Focus on the 5 and the 3. Find the LCM for 5 and 3. Focus on 4 and 6 and do the same, etc. Let's look at the next slide. The next slide is very similar. So it's exactly the same process. Here we have three terms for each ratio. It's exactly the same. You find the HCF of those three and you just go through the same procedure. This is exactly the same. You've got 5, 8 and 3. You find the LCM, lowest common multiple, of those three numbers. And you do exactly the same as we did on the previous slide. And finally, with respect to the mixed fractions, it's exactly the same. You have 4, 3 and 5. So you just have three denominators to look at. Okay, and you find the LCM for 4, 3 and 5 and just go through the process. Now don't forget, the next slide will have the link which will lead you to the lesson if you need extra support.